Hey, what's up guys? Today is the expo for UTOR and I will be taking you along with me. Uh, it is pretty early, it's about 6.15. I'm meeting Dave from Heretic Studios at his shop at uh, 7.30. And it's about a half an hour drive for me, but I'm getting a head start just to wash the truck a little bit. Uh, I usually don't do that. My uh, mother-in-law asked me yesterday if I'm gonna wash the truck, so I'm gonna go wash the truck before uh, headed up to UTOR. Come along. Truck is washed. Now heading up to uh, Dave at Heretic Studios. We'll meet up. We'll pack the uh, truck with some uh, studio stuff, some of their uh, booth stuff. Excuse me, Heretic Studios booth stuff for the show, and we'll head on up to uh, uh, Snow Basin Resort, just east of uh, Ogden. Hey Dave, here we are at Snow Basin. Uh, good to be with you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, appreciate you having me out. Yeah. Uh, Heretic Studios, real quick, what do you guys do? So, manufacture premium off-road lighting. We're a local company, small company, but trying to make the best product we can. And we're up here at Snow Basin today, just enjoying a little bit of time up in the mountains before you know yeah. everything goes back to school. So, uh, this is your second year, right? You came last second year. Second year here, and first year was we had a great time. We got to talk to a lot of a lot, lot of locals, of, a lot of yeah. local customers, and just you know, just fun to hang out in the mountains. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to this show, seeing what it's all about, and uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Ken. So, so far this has been a pretty cool show. I attended one of the uh, training meetings. Uh, it was uh, an introductory to uh, overlanding and uh, it was just a panel of four, four great guys just telling about their experiences. You know, expos, I've never really been a big, you know, honestly I've never really been a big into going to expos, but I see a lot of value in it having been uh, this time. You know, there's just different demos going on, there's different uh, presentations, and there's a lot of uh, opportunities to learn in a short amount of time and it's great to uh, get to know the companies but companies is uh, you know just one side of it the other side of it is just being here and experiencing it you know uh, I just saw uh, Tom Woods at drive shafts uh, if you've been following me for a while you know that I have a Tom Woods drive shaft because I broke my drive shaft on top of the world uh, trail in Moab uh, but it's uh, just great being out here and seeing everyone and putting faces to names Right now they have a Tread Lightly uh, presentation going on and I thought I would just head on over there and bring you with so you can see what one of these trains are like. We'll just tune in for a minute. Yeah. Other commons available information. So there's so many things going on across the country, so many places to recreate. A lot of times we can't get the information out fast enough or find enough funding to get that information to people. Um, Safety is always the number one. Anyways guys, that's a little bit about uh, Tread Lightly and what they've got going on. Uh, that's a little example of what, uh, you know, the type of trainings that they're doing. Right now Tread Lightly is just talking about what they do as an organization. Uh, Tread Lightly, of course, if you didn't know, you know, they help promote training uh, for individuals going off-road. And you, if you haven't checked them out, I would definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, if you're a first-time off-roader, go check them out so you can learn editing 
etiquette and how to prevent uh, our trails being closed. Tread Lightly is a great uh, organization. I'm here with Ty Bolton. Hey. And you started Utor on Facebook, right? Yeah, just a Facebook group about five years ago. I just didn't want to go off roading alone. I, I was doing it and I realized uh, I pushed myself a little hard and it wasn't really that safe. I was going to eventually break something and strand myself. How many years ago was that? Five. Five, five years. years ago. Yeah. How long have you done the expo? This is our fourth year doing the expo. Yeah. And this is the second year up at the ski resort, right? Yeah, second year up at Snow Basin. Yeah. And uh, they've opened up their trails so you can do a trail ride. Yeah, we did, we did purchase rights to use their trails. Um, and then we sell the trail rides so we can pay for the venue and yeah it's, it's been, a lot of people have been really happy with it this is my first time being here I was a little I wasn't anxious to come up here because it's a long drive for me I live in Bluffdale when in years past I lived down in uh, Draper so I was just like man it's a long drive for me but just coming up here I see a lot of value I mean it's not just about having companies come out so you can get to know companies but it's also getting to know like trainings and there's a lot of value in the trainings and and the demos that they're doing. I mean, how many different demos? How many stuff you got? You got every hour you have something going on, right? Every hour there's something going on. We did an overland uh, discussion. We did a, we're currently in a tread lightly discussion. There's gonna be a ham radio discussion. We have multiple demos from, from a Utah off-road recovery team going on. They're about to go flip a Jeep over and show people how to recover it and what, teach people tipping points and so on. But yeah. how to use appropriate recovery points and hand signals while winching. Yep. So just a good opportunity to learn and go out there a little bit safer with a little bit more knowledge every single time. Well, thanks for helping facilitate this and organize it. I'm sure it's a shit ton of work. <laughs> Thank you for doing it. I wouldn't want to do it. It's, it's exhausting and I can't wait to have some sleep. It's been a, it's been a few weeks since I've really slept well. <laughs> and I, I look forward to coming back next year and in the years to come. So thank you for putting it together. Yeah, we look forward to having you and thank you for coming. Yep. So when it starts to tip and starts to pull on that, it's not going to shock load his winch. So these guys are going to have to work in sync with each other. Now normally when we're doing a rollover, we have one on each end and then we have a guy controlling the seat, which in this case is going to be me. So I'm going to direct these guys, him to pull on over, and him to start letting winch out to control it. So um, we're at the group called the Utah Off-Road Recovery Team. Uh, it's a volunteer group. Um, so if you get stuck up in the mountains, like you're buried in the muck, out in the desert, um, you're rolled over, you slid off the road, um, you can just shoot us a message on Facebook and we'll send a group out, two to three vehicles, depending on the situation, and uh, we'll come out and we'll recover you for free. Utah Off-Road Recovery Team on Facebook, just yeah. all spelled out. Thanks. All right, guys, we are back at Heretic Studios. The show is done, over, and we just dropped off uh, the displays and everything at your shop. Uh, what are your thoughts? What did you think of the show? Uh, it was a great show. We had a great time. There were tons of people. The event just keeps growing. What, what was the total? I, did you hear? I think about halfway through the day, I heard that there were probably close to 2,000 people that, that wow. had showed up so far. Wow, it definitely felt busy. A lot of people came by the booth. Did you make any sales? Was it a good show? Yeah, no, we had a great sales. Had a lot, saw a lot of current customers, made some new ones, good friends, and it was just a, a all around great event. Yeah, for me personally, it was an interesting show. Just uh, I met some people that uh, follow follow the YouTube channel and the, uh, the Instagram page, and you know, it's interesting to meet people that I've engaged with but I've just never met in person. So it was like really nice meeting people. Yeah, yeah, always always a good time, you know, seeing people that you've seen their trucks, you've seen their forerunners, whatever, and, and actually getting to meet them in person. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people recognize my truck, but they don't recognize me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, quite a few people stopped by the booth and were like, oh, I recognize this truck. Yeah, yeah, is, is yeah. Ken here? And they're talking to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, great show, uh, great visiting with you, and, uh, I think we'll get do it again next year, right? Oh, for sure. And, uh, you know, we're glad to have you. You're always welcome anytime. Yep. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks.